At the Dane County Farmers Market, and we're talking to Alice Jackson. And you've got something new today. I do. This year we have calla lilies for the first time for sale. Uh huh. Um, and the calla lilies, we have a number of varieties. The nice thing about calla lilies now is that in the past there were only a few colors the whites and the yellows. Mm -hmm. um, but now the breeders have come a long ways in, in providing a lot of color and a lot of variety, both in height and in um, the colors. There's, a, there's now reds and pinks and purples, blacks, yellows and oranges of okay. all. Just gorgeous. And is this an indoor plant, an outdoor plant? It's actually, you can do both. Um, okay. Here in Wisconsin, you can, you'll have to bring it in in the winter, so you can just put it, bury the pot in the ground uh, during the summer and in the fall before the first frost, pull it bring it into the basement and over winter it there, just let it go dormant, don't water it. So you don't and even need to uh, take it out of the pot? You don't even need to take it out of the pot. Okay. And then next uh, spring you can just put it, I would take it out of the soil because they'll probably be little babies. Take the little babies, put those in new pots and put them all back in the ground. Nice. Yeah, nice. very nice. Anything else? You can also do calla lilies as a house plant because they're related to the corpse plant. Um, if you've ever seen that, that's the one that really stinks like a dead body. It has a mm -hmm. 10 foot flower. But these um, don't stink. These calla lilies actually do have a little stink, but it, it's pretty much been bred out of them. Okay. So, no, so they don't, you won't smell it. It's not significant enough to smell. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can use raise these as house plants as well, and just uh, bring them, put them in the house in a sunny window. Don't overwater. It's better to underwater than it is to overwater. Great. And they will do wonderfully. Great. Yeah. Lilies are uh, the most sought after for weddings because they are so consistent and reliable as a cut flower. Okay. The calla lily flower will last up to ten days. Now I noticed on this one that there's a little drop of water. That is water on the tip of it? Yes, it is. Tell and, me about that. Well, when you see that little drop of water on the tip of the flower like that, that means it's very happy. It's at the peak of the amount of water and the nutrients that it needs. So when you see that, you're doing the right thing. Excellent.